Hey folks, this is Bailey from Dankos Wargaming, and today in How to Build, I'm going to be showing you how to build foam storage for your finely painted miniatures. Let's get to it. Alright folks, so the first thing I like to do when cutting out foam for my models is understand that the whole foam is made up of little tiny squares. Alright, so we'll be able to take out little tiny pieces as needed to fit the models. Also know that the foam goes all the way down to this red barrier here, and so that's the bottom. That's what your model's base is going to sit on. So what I like to do first is take my model and see if I have tall enough foam. Because when you store these, they stack on top of each other, and you don't want to break a piece off your model because you're stacking something on top of it and it doesn't all fit inside. So if I look here, you can see this guy is really easily going to fit, so that is fine. Now I'm going to take them up on top, and I want to see how many little foam squares it takes to fill this base. And it looks like here it's going to take about four. That's pretty much what you're going to get with a 20 millimeter base such as this guy. So when I want to cut out a section for him, take my X-Acto knife and there's bits here that you want to cut off that stick the, all these squares together. And you want to just kind of cut that up a little bit all around the area you want to go. So I do that. And then I can try and pull them out one at a time, such as this. Or I can try and pull out the whole thing at once, or a big chunk of it at once. It just depends on how brave you want to be. And when you're done, you'll see, you can see down, you can see the red part there. And that's where my model goes. Down in there, just like that. Now, what you can do, and I have seen other people do, is I've seen them put them in sideways, but I like to put mine in top down. That's how I like to do it. Now, if I want to put in another model, such as this guy right here, all right, I know that I need to have a gap here to keep them from bumping into each other. So here's my gap here, this little ridge here on the other side. And cut. And I pull it out. And then I just pop that guy in there. And I would just continue to do this for all the models that I have until I've run out of space. So there you have it, folks. That is how you cut out foam to store your finely painted miniatures in them. Now, you may have a lot of this stuff left over when you're done. Don't feel like you have to just throw it away. You can, but you can also use it to store other models in. Like I have a couple of collections where I just have a cardboard box with these things thrown in there and the models kind of placed in there to keep them from breaking. But I also like to use them for painting. I'll use them as a sponge to get different effects with my paint. So don't feel like you just have to throw this stuff away, there is a use for it. And you will have a lot of it, so you might have to do both. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and share below. If you want to know more about Dankless Wargaming, please check the description. Until next time, I'm Bailey, reminding you that if your lists start to tank, then it is time to get dank.